This is a very, very common question indeed on uh, Maths Olympiad or college entrance exams. Distributing identical objects between distinct people or boxes or bins or whatever. Okay, so it's from the JE Main, January 2024, shift two. The number of ways in which 21 identical apples can be distributed among three children, well, children are presumed to be distinct, so that each child gets at least two apples is whatever. Okay, now first of all, let's um, just work out what it would be if we didn't have this so that each child gets at least two. Let's just work out how do we distribute 21 identical apples between three children. Well, basically, let's here's our 21 apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Okay, so there's our 21 uh, identical apples and what we're going to do is we're going to use a method called stars and bars or sticks and stones or dots and dividers where we take two bars and we just plonk them anywhere and this is how many child one will get and this is how many child two will get and this is how many child three will get. Now here we have 23 uh, things, namely 21 apples and two bars, and if we were to permutate all of those, and remember at the moment we're not answering this question, we're, we're assuming uh, that this least two apples doesn't apply, basically we would have 23 factorial possibilities divided by 21 factorial because there are 21 identical apples, and divided by 2 factorial because the two identical bars, that would give us 23 times 22 over 2, which equals 253. There would be 253 ways of distributing 21 identical apples between three children if we didn't have this constraint here. Okay, well, we have got that constraint, but that's actually not a big problem because if each child has to get at least two apples, well, let's give the child one those two apples, and let's give child one, child two those two apples, and let's give child three those two apples because they're identical apples, uh, and that would leave us with 15 apples, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we've got to distribute those 15 apples between the three children using exactly the same method that we just used above. We have the two bars, and we plonk them anywhere, and we know, therefore, that the way of permutating this will be 17 factorial, because there's 15 identical apples and two bars, over 15 factorial, 2 factorial, which equals 17 times 16 over 2, which is 17 times 8, which is 136, uh, 136, which is option D. So this is actually a, um, a very, well, option 4. Um, this is actually a very simple question. Once you know that you have to use stars and bars when you are using identical objects into distinct boxes. And just a matter of interest, the general formula for this make you do it even quicker, is if you have M identical objects and you have N distinct children or bins or boxes or whatever, then basically the formula for working out uh, is uh, M plus N minus 1 C M minus 1. So in our example uh, where there were 21 identical objects and three distinct children, it would be 21 add 3 minus 1, which is 23 over C2. And basically, in, when we've taken the six apples out, it was 15 add 3 minus 1, which is 17 C2. OK, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like the uh, video and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.